Happy Hanukkah and welcome to the menorah at Triangle Park. We're here with the menorah today. The menorah is one of the oldest symbols of religious freedom, of universal freedom that we all have the right to participate in our faith. See, a little over 2,000 years ago, the Hellenistic Syrian Greeks ruled the land of Israel. They took away the Jews' right to self-determination and they ordered that the celebration of Judaism cease. And a brave group started off with a man named Matis Yahu and his five teenage sons and grew to a small army, fought off the most powerful army of the time. And they relit the menorah in the temple. They lit the menorah because the idea was that religious freedom and the ability to serve God should be a light onto the rest of the world. Today, menorahs are lit in parks and public places all over the world to celebrate the fact that the Maccabees only had one day of oil, but it lasted for eight days. We have an eight branch menorah with a center branch in the middle, a shamish. So menorahs will be lit this Hanukkah from anywhere from the White House to the governor's mansion to mayors all across the Commonwealth of Kentucky and by individuals all across the world. One of the beautiful things about Hanukkah is coming together to celebrate. But sadly, we can't do that this year. The pandemic does not allow us to celebrate Hanukkah the way we have in the past. So the amazing grand menorah lighting we've had every year in Lexington won't take place. However, Hanukkah and Judaism in general is meant to be celebrated with your family. So everyone has the ability to celebrate Hanukkah at home, to put your menorah in the doorway and shine that light from your house into the street to share that message that we all have the right, that is not only a Jewish message, but it's an American message, that we all have the right to worship how we want. We all have the right of religious freedom. Lubavitcher Rebbe, my personal mentor and the foremost leader of world Judaism in the modern era, by Menachem Mendel Schneerson, would often say that in a time of great darkness, a small amount of light dispels a lot of darkness. It's been a pretty dark year, and there's been news after news, but <clears throat> the Jewish year changed a couple months ago. We're in a whole new paradigm shift, a whole new reality. And we have the chance now to light up all the darkness, to be the change that we need right now. So I encourage everyone, if you have a menorah, light it in the window, light it in the doorway, celebrate Hanukkah with your family and share that light with your community. If you don't have a menorah, contact Chabad, email Chabad of the Bluegrass at gmail.com and I will send you a menorah to your home everyone should be able to participate in the menorah. And while we don't have grand menorah lightings, every one of our individual lights at our home can light up the entire world. The way we celebrate Hanukkah is simple. On the first night, which this year is December 10th, Thursday, we light one candle. It doesn't seem like much, one lone little candle. However, on the second night, we light two candles. The lights are already doubled. By the third night, we light three until the entire menorah is lit up. People think that to make change in this world, to improve this world, you need to make huge changes. It's not true. Just add a little light. Because if you add a little light today, there'll be more light tomorrow and more light the day after. You reach out again and again and again. That's why the Rebbe pushed that there should be public menorahs all over, so that people could see the light and be inspired, not only to light a menorah at home, but also to be a light, to add that little light and to make the world a more beautiful and light-filled place. Happy Hanukkah.